Hi everyone and welcome to this new and quick video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create an Apple Push certificate if you want to enable and use the advanced device management for your iOS devices in the domain and in the organization. Now I already have a video similar to this in this channel but recently Google have changed the interface of devices in the admin console and as you can see now it's a little bit more neat compared to what it used to look like before. So I thought why not making a new video talking about this using this new interface and also making it very short and to the point so it can serve as a quick reference for anyone who wants to do this in the future or who is looking for this. So this is a very straightforward and an easy process. All you have to do here is you have to go to settings and then you go to iOS settings. In iOS settings you will notice the first section which is called Apple certificates. This is where you create and manage your Apple push certificate. Now I already have one, but for this video, I'm going to actually set up a new one and showing you what are the options and the steps that are there to create the Apple push certificate. So in your case, if you never set up the Apple push certificate before, you will not see this view. You will actually see something like set up a new certificate only. You will not see the details and the information about the existing certificate because you don't have one so all you have to do is click in set up a new certificate or whatever button that is shown to you here and when you click this you'll be taken to the wizard where it's going to help you create the certificate sign-in request and then go to apple push certificate portal and then issue that certificate for your domain so this is a very straightforward process. First of all, you will click get CSR. This is the certificate signing request that contains the private key. Now, once you get the CSR, it's a good idea to note the location for that and also maybe prepare a notepad or a text editor in case you need to open it and copy the content of that. The next step here is you open the Apple Push Certificates portal and you need to sign in with an Apple ID. So if you don't have one, then it's a good idea to also to create one. And you can use any email, of course, but something that will indicate this Apple ID is connected to this domain. And also you'll get some nice feature, which is it's going to allow you to enter the Apple ID here. So you don't forget which Apple ID did you use to create that Apple push certificate, because this is very important step. And if you use a different Apple ID, then you will fail when the time comes to renew the Apple Push certificate and then all of the devices will disconnect because in this case you will only have the option to give them a new certificate which means that the user will have to re-accept the policy and re-download the certificate and the policy and all of this. So you don't want to be in this situation. It's a good idea and highly suggested and much recommended and you know blah 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 whatever. Just make sure you type the Apple ID here so you don't forget it at the time of the renewal the next year. So going back to the, the, the Apple push certificate portal, you just go to that portal. Again, if you don't have an Apple ID, then just create one. Otherwise, you sign in with your existing ID. Okay, so I'm inside the account finally. And as you will see now, it will show me the existing certificates that I have. And it will not show you to which account or to which domain that you have the certificate. It's only going to show you the vendor or the entity that requested the certificate and the service that is enabled on the certificate. So it's mobile device management requested by Google and it, it's going to expire on 21st of February 2021. And the status is active. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new certificate. And I need to accept the agreement, of course, which is something I do without reading that, as usual. <laughs> and then I will need to choose the CSR that I have downloaded from Google, which is this one. So I'll just click choose file and then find this file and load it and then click upload. So I have choose the file and then I'll click upload. And that's it. The Apple push certificate has been generated for me. All I have to do now is downloading this. And then going back to G Suite Admin Console, again double check that you type the Apple ID here so you don't forget it the next year and then get stuck and get into issues that you don't want. And then after that, the final step is you click Upload Certificate and you choose the file that you have downloaded from Apple Push Certificate Portal. So now all I have to do here is click Save and Continue and that's it. I will be all set.
As you see, the Apple Push Notification Service Certificate was successfully uploaded and that's it. I'll click finished and then I have a new Apple Push Certificate in my admin console. So if I refresh this, first of all, you will see the expiration date is changed to August 17th. And I'm not sure why the Apple ID did not come, but I am using the same Apple ID. So this is how to generate an Apple Push Certificate to be used in the G Suite Admin Console and in the device management. Now, if you want to manage the iOS devices, you will go back to devices and then you go to settings, then setup. And in this setup, you will go to the setup again or mobile management. And in mobile management, you will just set everything to advanced or at least iOS devices to advanced. So for me, I already have it to advanced. You can either choose custom and set everything to advanced or just select advanced in here and save and that's it. So thanks a lot for your time on this. Hopefully this was a useful video for you and hopefully it will help you getting around creating the Apple Push certificate for your domain. If you found this useful, please like the video and also subscribe to the channel. And also if you have any comment or any points that you want to talk about or anything, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments section. Also check out my blog and also check out my course on Udemy, the complete course to manage G Suite. That is a complete comprehensive course that is going to help you in getting around and managing G Suite from all of the aspects and all of the tasks that you're going to need every day and during your G Suite administration career. So until the next video, please stay safe and thank you for viewing.